So in biology, we have this thing called a dichotomous key, which helps you identify a species based on what characteristics you, you observe. Can you kind of provide a dichotomous key for, in summation, how to decide which IRA is best for you? I think, you know, in general, when you're looking, you know, the first thing to look at is your income and to generate, figure out what your tax bracket is. Because in general, if you're in that low tax bracket, you know, if you're in like the 0%, obviously, but even like the 10% or 15% tax bracket, your taxes are never going to get any lower. So if you're in that situation, for whatever reason, it might be because you're young and you're just getting started. It might be because you've been temporarily unemployed or you've decided to take a break from work. But for whatever reason, if your income is in that situation, that's going to push you more towards the Roth IRA. If you're in a high income situation where you're up in the 28, 33, 35, 39 percent tax brackets, that's a situation where your taxes are likely, not necessarily for sure, but they're likely to be lower after you retire. And so it makes sense to go the traditional IRA route, grab that upfront deduction at the highest tax bracket possible now with the intent of later on, you'll pay tax when you take withdrawals out of that traditional IRA, but it'll be at a lower tax rate. And that should help you move forward to get, because the, the whole idea here is to end up with the most money at the end of the day. The IRS is going to get its share one way or the other. The question is when it gets it, and your decision is to be as smart as possible and to give them the least that you can get away with. So I have a couple questions, follow-up questions. Can you yeah. have a Roth and traditional IRA at the same time and contribute to both of them at the same time? You can. Um, you, the, the annual limit on contributions applies to the total of all IRAs that you put in. So for 2016, if you're younger than age 50, you can put in a total of $5,500 into IRAs for the year. If you're 50 or older, you get an extra thousand. That brings it up to 6,500. And you can split that however you want. You can do half in a traditional and half in a Roth. You can do it all in a traditional. You can do it all in a Roth. Now there is one caveat there, and that is that not everyone is allowed to contribute to a Roth IRA. If you have income above a certain amount, which is a six-figure amount, if I recall correctly, it then <laughs> you may not be allowed to contribute to a Roth for that year. And so the traditional will be your only choice going forward. I think that the figure is around 118000 I believe. I take your word for it, Gabby. That sounds about right. 